Today we're going to be calculating the temperature of a rising air mass. First, you're going to draw your diagram. Take note of the height at the point of condensation, the height at the top of the mountain, your starting level, today we're looking at sea level, which is zero meters, and the temperature at starting level, which is 20 degrees Celsius. Next, you're going to take your point of condensation height and subtract your starting level. Next, take the difference in the distance and divide by 100 and multiply by 1 degrees Celsius. We divide by 100 and multiply by 1 because air, dry air drops at a rate of 1 degree Celsius for one, every 100 meters. This is your total drop in temperature. Once you have written down this answer, make sure you box it. We're going to use it later on. Take your starting temperature and subtract from that total drop in temperature. The answer is, in this case, negative 15.25. This is the temperature at the point of condensation. Make sure you write a statement saying, it, saying so. Now we're going to calculate the distance between the point of condensation and the top of the mountain. Take that difference and divide by 100 again, but this time you're going to multiply by 0 0.6 degrees Celsius. We divide by 100 and multiply by 0 0.6 because wet air drops at a rate of 0 0.6 degrees Celsius for every 100 meters. The answer is 10.572. Make sure you round off to the nearest 100th, that's two decimal places, and box your answer. Now we're going to calculate the total temperature of the rising air mass. We're going to start by taking the starting temperature and minus the total of the two boxed numbers. Remembering your rules of bed mass, calculate your brackets first. Make sure you record a statement for your answer. You've now calculated the temperature of the rising air mass.